Hello everyone, welcome to the show Uncovering Lives. I'm your host Yam Kumar Powdell and with me I have Migma Dema Gishin as our co-host. I hope everyone is having a great evening. For this week we have Mr. Sangye Doji, a second year student of Royal Thimpu College. He hails from Chaibe, Mongar. Currently he is pursuing bachelor's degree in history and zonka. So before joining Royal Thimpu College, where were you working? Actually, I have completed my high school at, in the year 2015. So till 2018, I was working in tourism hotel. I have worked as a massage therapist there. So I have worked almost uh, two and a half years. Mr. Sangi Doji is also a massage therapist who worked in tourism hotel. After completing class 12, He could not continue his tertiary education because of financial problem. Sangye Doji, before coming to RTC, he was working as a massage therapist in tourism hotel. I have worked um, in tourism hotel as a massage therapist. While working as a therapist, I have gained many knowledge and many experiences there. I have thought many times if I could learn and if I could join the college as a normal child. Wishing that, I have fulfilled my dream because of my teacher, Dana Chokel, with help of him and the support from management of Royal College here, I have got an opportunity to come and learn as same as the normal people. I have got this opportunity because of uh, my teacher and the support from the Royal College, Royal College here. And thirdly, because of the blessings from Triple Gem. Actually, the Royal Thimpo College is the first college to admit disabled person as a scholarship. I have got first opportunity to join here and I've gotten many experience joining at this college. Mr. Sangye, you have shared a wonderful story out here about how you got selected for scholarship at Royal Thimpo College. So, Royal Thimpo College is the first institution in the country to enroll people with disabilities as students becoming an inclusive institution. He says that he is the first visually impaired student to study at RTC. There are few challenges that he is facing. Actually, I don't have any problem as such. However, at the beginning when I joined here, I faced a problem with a resource. Resource in the sense like getting books. Other than this problem, I didn't face any problem. So Sangi, how are you trying to overcome those challenges? To overcome those problems, I connected with my previous teacher at Minseling Institute where I have learned in the early age. That has solved my problem. Then. I have faced problem with exploring around the college campus so that problem has been also solved my friends they have guided me everywhere now I I can work individually because they have supported me that's how I have overcome my challenges out here Sangi, would you like to share us what is your sickness? Actually, I didn't have sickness as particular, but when the doctor has diagnosed my eye, they have come to conclusion that I have got cataract. Because of that disease, I have lost sight in the age of 10. We understand that Sangi Doji has accepted his problem. He accepts himself as a person with disability. So, did you face any complicated situations in terms of financial treatment? Yeah, I have faced a lot of challenges getting treatment to my eye. My parents were very poor and they are former one doctor who is working in BHU in my village. He has supported a lot and because of him, I have done surgery successfully. Do you have anything to share so that my project will be successful one in order to help the people with disabilities? Thank you. I would suggest if college continues to enroll disability persons out here, uh, what I would suggest here is that first of all regarding textbooks, if college support to get the textbooks, that would be way better. Regarding exploring the campus around the college, in coming to steps, they could dismantle the steps and replace with ramps. If they can't do that, they, they could replace the steps with uh, railings. In the town area, there are a lot of problems to work. There are no 
good way if the city could help us to refill holes and there are many poles around the sidewalks we are always getting stuck with that holes and poles there if they could reduce the number of poles and if they could cover up those holes we could work very comfortably there if they could put some indication where there is like a zebra crossers so we, we could work by ourselves if the city would help us we would be very grateful so this brings us to the end of our conversation the town is slowly becoming a country where people with disabilities are given significance there are some civil society organizations looking after the people with disabilities such as ability bhutan society drugso disabled persons association of bhutan wongsil institute of tech they work to promote the rights of people with disabilities who are among the vulnerable population group Thank you Sangi Doji for being with us and unlocking your life story. This is Yam Kumar Powdel signing off for today. See you all next time at the same time here in Unlocking Lives.